hey girl welcome back to the channel so the wait is over i am finally uploading a video showing just some of the styles i do on ariana's hair i will be having a hair care regimen coming soon i've already filmed the video guys i just have to edit the video so you girls have been asking for this video on instagram so here we are all right so let's get started so this is freshly washed hair. I washed her hair last night and twisted it into four sections. So before I start to style her hair, I like to go in with the water and conditioner, which is in this spray bottle, and I apply it to each section just to detangle her hair. Um, Ariana is not really tender-headed. I mean, she's not tender-headed at all, I should say. She does not give me any problems when it comes to doing her hair. However, I do have to put some things in front of her just to keep her entertained. Now, I'm not the best parter, so girl, it's okay. So I'm going to be going in with my favorite light oils to um, oil her scalp. I'll have the details on the oil that I use below in the description bar. And then you girls already know the Maui um, hair lotion is my absolute favorite. I use it on my hair and of course I use it on Ari's hair. Number one question that I get asked a lot is what do I use on her hair? Like as far as like slicking down her hair. I use gel between the olive oil and the coconut. So when it comes to applying rubber bands on her hair, I like to add oil to the rubber bands. To me, it helps prevent breakage by just keeping that band um, moisturized with oil. Do I want to say moisturized? Not moisturized, but just keeping it wet. I don't, girl, I don't know the proper term. I don't know what I'm looking for. <laughs> so anyways, I'm going to keep parting the hair. It's very important to make sure the hair is wet before you do any type of detangling and parting. And as you guys can see, what I'm doing here is not harming Ariana at all. She is really in her own world. So I'm just going to continue um, sectioning the hair and then putting it into ponytails, and I'll be back. So when it comes to putting rubber bands on her hair, I make sure that it's not too tight because I don't want to break her hair, nor do I want to give her a headache. So I normally go around two to three times. So this is what the back of the hair looks like once I apply all my sections. So as you guys can see, we had to go downstairs and get a snack because she was getting hungry and a little agitated. So we're back at it. I'm going back in with the conditioner and water just to detangle the hair. And then I'm going to go in and seal that moisture with light coconut oil. Now I don't do anything heavy on the ends because I don't want the oil to weigh the hair down. So I'm just gonna be twisting the hair and girl, going to the next section. This is a really good protective hairstyle by the way. So I do have to put rubber bands on her ends because her ends will unravel. Ariana has about two to three different hair textures going on, which I'll talk a little bit more about in the hair care video. But that's like this is the only way I can keep her twist from coming unraveled is by putting a rubber band on it. If you guys have like any tips or suggestions, please let me know below in the comment section. And by the way, the shrinkage is so real. Y'all know I say this like in all of my natural hair videos. I mean. I ain't got a lot, but you know, the few that I do have up, I talk about it a lot, just how real the shrinkage is. So Ariana hair has grown a lot. I can't wait to share with you guys what I have been doing to grow her hair. So anyways, like I said, this is a really cute protective hairstyle and I want to accessorize her hair. I want to look at her. I don't know what she's talking about, girl. I guess she's telling y'all bye. She is ready to go. So um, I'm going to be using these um, hair balls and some bows that I got from my local beauty supply store. Typically, I try to match, well not typically, but always, I try to match her hair bows with her outfit. So you definitely don't have to add like bows and things like that, but I just think it adds another layer of cuteness. So to go in and slick down the baby hairs, I use a very light, very light amount of gel, the same gel that I used to style her hair in the beginning. And then I wanna accessorize her ends with the balls, but y'all, I can't figure out how to get the balls to stay. So I just switched it up and put um, hair bows at the end instead. Okay, so now we are moving on to day three. I like to style Ariana's hair at least every two to three days just to make sure moisture is staying in the hair. And so before I style her hair, of course, I'm going to go in and detangle the hair using water and conditioner. 
Now, because Ariana has different textures going on, I don't like to really saturate her hair too much with water and conditioner because some of the curl patterns in her hair will get extremely tight to the point where it is hard to detangle. So I just lightly spray her hair um, so that it's not saturated with water and conditioner, just enough so that I can part her hair without hurting her. And as you guys can see, the hair is moisturized enough to the point where I can part straight down the middle with no problem. So I'm going to be sectioning off her hair into two sections in the back, going in with some hair moisturizer just to make sure the hair is moisturized and soft and then I just broke a rubber band so I'm about to go in with another rubber band don't forget to oil your rubber bands So when styling her hair, I do prefer to leave her baby hairs out so that there's not a lot of tension on her hairline. Um, I don't twist the uh, rubber bands on her hair tight either because I don't want that tension on her hairline. I don't want to damage it. So, yeah. So if you follow Ariana on Instagram, then you already know this is like our favorite go-to hairstyle. Now I love adding two ponytails or two pieces in the front and just twisting the hair. Now this is a very soft spot for her. So I make sure that I don't um, put too much tension on the hair and that the rubber bands aren't too tight on her hair. So yeah. say this honey ariana gets her entire life when she is getting her hair done <laughs> so i'm going to go in again and accessorize the hair i just love it i feel like it just adds that mm, that's a cute uh kid hairstyle type of vibe so i just added some pink um balls to the roots of her hair and then i'm going to go in and add some pink um, hair bows to the ends of her hair just to protect those ends and this is pretty much the look guys I'm just going to add one more ball to the ponytail and this is it I love this style it's just such a fun cute youthful style now when it comes to doing the baby hairs I do the same exact thing just using gel very lightly and um, just swooping in her hairline so yeah, this is the look. Hope you guys enjoyed this little cute protective hairstyle. Now we're on to the next day. Alright, so this final look is going to be like a mohawk style. Now, I can't really braid, but I saw this um, style on Pinterest a couple of days ago and decided to recreate the look, but doing a mohawk with ponytail. So, I'm going to start off with sectioning off the hair. Now, we pop a lot of rubber bands around here, so I just decided to do like an actual hair tie instead of rubber bands for this particular style, but you can use whichever you would like. So, I'm just following the same steps that I have followed in the last two hairstyles, making sure I detangle her hair and going in with the moisturizer. And this is pretty much our mohawk style. I did accessorize the hair with purple ribbon bows just to give it that pop. So yeah, you can also transition this look into a protective hairstyle by just simply twisting the hair and putting it in a bun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll come back with more styling videos if you guys like this video. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and comment below. Bye.